previous episode of the poor man's GTR build, we bought another project car. $2,000 can't get you much nowadays when looking at buying a car, but if you're dumb enough to consider buying something nobody would even think about fixing, then you might just end up with a no accident history and registered R34 Skyline. Unfortunately, the previous owner had gotten into a crash and decided to part it out. We helped him pull the drivetrain out of it and were then left with a big hunk of metal sitting for months at the yard cooking in the sun. For someone, this was the end of the story with no happy ending. Whilst for somebody else, this was just the beginning.
So the Skyline is currently in Pep's workshop, who is also my neighbour. So what we did, instead of cutting the radiator support out first, you want to pull the radiator support and anything it's connected to. Because once you start pulling it, you start pulling out the rest of the damage. Start pulling out the rest of the damage at the same time. So then once you're happy with all the damage being pulled out, and you take all the cross measurements and everything that lines up, then you can proceed to drilling out the spot welds and removing the radiator support. Some spot welds are tricky to get to, so you might have to actually cut the panel out and just get a thin blade in between where the two panels join and that's how you cut those spot welds. Grab some vice grips, kind of twiggle it around and obviously the radiator support being the thinner piece will let go first um, where the spot weld is. And yeah, that's pretty much how you take a radiator sport out, it's not too difficult. With the radiator support being removed off the car, we massaged the metal back into place that would otherwise be hard to get to. We also used clamps to hold the uh, new panel in place while we took more measurements and also put the front panels over to make sure everything lines up before finally welding it. One thing to watch out for, Skyline owners, if you're having to do this job, if you have an R34 GTT, order yourself a GTT radiator support as it's the bottom piece sits higher and has the holes for the power brace. While the GTR radiator support, only the bottom piece, which is different, sits lower and does not have the holes for the power brace. So just one thing to watch out for.
So as you guys just saw, the new panel got welded in. To prepare the metal, it's quite simple. What I did is I used a wire brush on every surface that was going to make contact. So one being the car, two being the radiator support. So if we imagine this being the car, this being the radiator support, where it touches is these two panels in the middle, right? Have to receive weld through primer so you don't have any dramas, um, so you don't have any issues in the, in the future. While these outer panels have to be bare metal so you could actually get good contact with one, either being the spot welder or two, being the MIG welder. So some of these panels, you're gonna have to MIG weld. Some of them, you can spot weld if you have a spot welder. If you don't, just MIG it all up. Um, so yeah, that's how that was done. People I would like to thank is, massive thank you goes out to Scott for always letting us use the trailer anytime we need it. He always lets us take the trailer to tow around our crappy little cars. Then I'd like to thank Dan for allowing me to borrow his front end to make sure everything lines up. That is not the front end I'll be using on the car. I'll be doing something a little bit different. Then I would also like to thank you, uh, thank Abdul for getting all the parts in quickly to, to start actually working and fixing this car. And finally, I would like to thank my neighbor Pep for being crazy enough to let me use his workshop and also helping me out with, um, with building the dream. So thank you guys and yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Let you guys see the rest.